From Paul Dano's sinister take on the Riddler to the sudden reveal of Barry Keoghan's Joker at the end of the film, Batman introduced a slew of new villains to the cinematic universe. But it looks like the sequel's gonna take things up a notch. According to recent reports, the Batman Part 2 will bring a classic Batman villain into the mix. That alone makes me excited about the movie, cause there are just so many characters from Batman's rogue gallery that could get explored. The thing is, most major Batman villains have already been depicted at least once, although it's fair to say that many of these depictions missed the mark. Mr. Freeze was absolutely ruined in that disaster of a movie Joel Schumacher created. Poison Ivy got a raw deal there as well, but either way, whether it's the Scarecrow or the Penguin, and of course the Joker, Batman's rogue gallery's been pretty well exhausted by this point. However, from the looks of things, it seems like the addition to the Batman 2's villain cast will be one we've never seen before. If the rumors are true, we might get to see Clayface make his big screen debut. And I'm personally super stoked about it, cause Clayface is a severely underrated villain from the Batman canon. It's kinda awesome that Matt Reeves is looking to expand his horizons instead of going for the same old characters. We've gotten like five separate versions of the Joker. The Riddler has been portrayed at least twice, and the same goes for the Penguin now as well. Now, I'm aware that some fans might be confused here. Clayface isn't exactly the most well-known Batman villain after all, at least if you're mostly just a fan of the films. Anyone that's seen the various animated adaptations might be aware of what he's about, but just in case you're not in that camp, what exactly does Clayface bring to the table? Well, Clayface is actually one of the more unique Batman villains we've seen in the comics. He's a struggling actor in most storylines, and he gets his powers through the use of a makeup chemical that helps him fix his disfigured face. Unfortunately, this chemical kinda ruins his face and entire body, cause it gives it the texture of silly putty. He's able to manipulate and morph his body and change his appearance completely and he can even change his voice to sound like someone else's. This shape-shifting power isn't permanent though. He has to switch back to a shapeless blob after some time has passed. There are quite a few different characters that take up the Clayface moniker, with Basil Carlo and Matt Hagen being the two most prominent title bearers. There's no news about which version Batman 2 will bring to life. In fact, there's barely any information at all about what the character might be up to. However, we might not have to wait too long before getting our first look at the supervillain. Matt Reeves has said that the Batman 2's gonna get set up in the upcoming Penguin series. It's gonna be a long wait until the Batman 2 gets released in October 2025, but luckily, we'll be able to get some glimpses of our favorite characters in the HBO Max show. Reeves isn't just treating it as a side project either. He's gone on the record to say that it'll be used as a way to establish a storyline for the sequel. It'll probably have its own identity too, of course. But Oswald Cobblepot is defined by his association with Batman. So no matter what the storyline includes, it's safe to assume that it will be deeply tied to the events of the first film, setting up the trajectory of the sequel along the way. Now, if the Penguin series will be so interconnected with the Batman sequel, it stands to reason that some of the characters that'll show up might make their debut in it. Like, if Clayface is gonna be such a core component of Batman 2, it would make a ton of sense to introduce him in the show. It won't have to be a major inclusion either. Instead, Reeves could just let him show up for a few scenes to establish his presence and leave all of the good stuff for the sequel itself. Honestly, learning that Clayface is gonna be one of Batman's latest foes has me on the edge of my seat. Cause we've never seen an on-screen Batman pitted against a villain like this. Just think about it. Who are some of the villains we've seen film versions of Batman fight so far? The Joker is a trickster and a mad genius, and the same goes for the Riddler. 
Ra's al Ghul and the Scarecrow brought their own unique personalities for the Dark Knight to contend with. But at the end of the day, he was more than a match for them, physically speaking. In fact, the Caped Crusaders never really been physically outmatched by an opponent. I mean, I guess you could say that Bane broke his back, but Batman recovered from that pretty quickly and bested him easily in the second round. It's not quite the same for Clayface, though. This will be the first time ever that we see Batman fight someone with super strength. Clayface can crush cars with his bare hands. Just think of what he can do to Batman's skull. He also happens to be an absolutely terrifying villain. Like, the guy's basically a massive monster that looks like it's melting. Adding him to the Batman 2 roster's gonna take the film to a whole other level. As if that weren't already enough, Clayface is just one of the many villains Batman will have to defeat in the sequel. All the villains from the first film are gonna come back. That means we'll get to see Paul Dano's Riddler back in action, which I simply can't wait for. He brought a manic, yet sinister aura to the character that was pretty unique, and Dano's often mentioned how eager he is to return to the role. What's more, Barry Keoghan slated to come back as the Joker as well, and Colin Farrell's gonna be returning as Oswald Cobblepot to top it all off. Now, you might be wondering how Reeves plans to fit so many characters into just one film without overwhelming bats, but that's the whole point. Batman 2 is going to push the Dark Knight to his limits. Reeves has said that he wants to put the caped crusader through the absolute ringer in the next film. Having such a wide cast of villains will be great in that regard. Clayface's ability to shapeshift makes him an especially challenging foe for Batman to tackle. It'll test his investigatory abilities, which were already brought into question when he struggled to find the Riddler. I can totally see Batman getting super paranoid, cause he just won't know who to trust. And we don't even know if he'll have his old friends to back him up. There's no word yet on whether Jeffrey Wright, Zoe Kravitz, or even Andy Serkis will be returning. Now, I really doubt that none of them are gonna get apart. Like, Catwoman was an integral part of the first film, and Jim Gordon's Batman's only ally outside of the Bat family. As for Alfred, I can't see how Batman would survive without him. But what if that's what Reeves is going for? What if he wants to show us a Batman that's completely isolated and surrounded by his worst enemies? It would make for a compelling film, for sure. We're just gonna have to wait a couple of years to see for ourselves. Having said that, that's all from me on the major new villain revealed for Batman 2.